we have any citizens wishing to be heard? Uh, I am excited about our county manager report, <laughs> Ms. Biggs. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, welcome back again. Good evening, Commissioners. Um, several things for you this evening. Uh, first of all, um, I owe Ms. Megan Marwick and Ms. Belinda Lover a tremendous debt of gratitude for all of their hard work and planning on the Bird Supper. It was a phenomenal event. Um, you know, some things that you've done yourself for, for a long time and, and you see someone else come in, um, it was time because Ms. Barwick certainly did a much better job than, than I ever have with that. And she has also secured our, debt, our date for next year, so that will be February the 1st. If you all will go ahead and mark your calendars, we are on track there. Um, I think one of the things that was really good about this year was we were able to bring our local food here through Woodsack Barbecue with Randy DeCoudre and Justin Stevens. We got a lot of uh, positive feedback from that, and they are also booked for next year. So we're excited to bring South Georgia to Atlanta. Um, we've already discussed the $22.5 million in broadband grant that we've received from the state through the ARPA funding. Very excited about that. I know that everyone's ready to get started. So Ms. Bowen is running point on that um, timeline for us. She's already reached out to the state. Before I can even ask the question, they are running six to eight weeks out on the terms and conditions. So we'll have to get the terms and conditions in before we can move forward. That's kind of the next step in the process. Meanwhile, we're going to reach out to Windstream and start to develop a timeline so that as soon as we do get the information in from the state that we can also start working with them. So we're not going to wait where that's concerned. We have received a enabling leg or confirmation that our enabling legislation update bill has been introduced. Um, also, I'd like to thank Walter for all of his help on that. It, it really wasn't necessary for him to draft that legislation, but we did need someone to continue to encourage legis the Legislative Council in Atlanta to move forward, and Walter certainly did that, so thank you for that, Walter. The second Harvest DCA uh, grant kickoff was this morning. Um, we had the South Georgia Regional Commission there, uh, DCA was there, Second Harvest was there, all of our staff that's part of that project was there. That is a reminder, is $18 million in another ARPA fund that's coming here. This is going to relocate, relocate Second Harvest um, to the property along the interstate next to Martins. So we are starting to move forward in that. So some of the things that we ironed out today is how we will handle payment and some timeline things. So we're on track with that grant as well. Um, Ms. Barwick has uh, worked with HR to coordinate an, an, a Valentine event for our employees on Friday, so they will be receiving a treat from all of you. Um, we have the Leeds lunch tomorrow at 12 noon at the conference center, so thank you for, to everyone who's able to make that. Um, Chad, do you have an update for us on Med Swamp? I know that Commissioner Weisenbaker especially will be very interested. Uh, yes, ma'am. So, uh, since the Commission approved uh, us moving forward with Mud Swamp, the survey work for the plant has been completed. It was turned in to uh, myself and Mr. Walter last week with the final uh, revisions. Uh, so staff and Mr. Walter will be reviewing that and getting prepared uh, the deeds for that project. In the meantime, we're also working on the uh, where we need where we are needing drainage easements as well as building up the road uh, with the engineer. Thank you, Chad. And we have one more address point on Carter Way, and we will be doing staff's part of Carter Way and coming before you all for um, your guidance on moving forward with Carter Way as well. Um, if any of you receive any calls, Chad and I actually went out and rode Carter Way yesterday with the rain that we had received. I think the chairman had, had gotten a call on that. It is currently public safety passable, but it's certainly not in an environment that's comfortable for those citizens to come in and out of there. So. Um, we will continue to work with them in the process there. Then the last thing that I have for you this evening is one of our utility employees that actually works for Mr. Stalby, his name is Mark Holmes. Um, his son is a Marine in the infantry and he has been deployed to the Russia-Ukraine Russia event. So please um, keep that family, um, Mr. Holmes and his son in your thoughts and prayers. And um, I've asked him to get an address once they, if they are set up enough that we can send packages and we can send I've asked them for an address there, so I'll keep you all up to date on that. That's all I have. Thank you. Any questions? Any comments? Motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second.